I'm here to tell you right now, we don't care. Let me tell you. Right, let me tell you. <laughs> we don't. Hold on, apologize for that. Care. Apologize for that. Ranting. Apologize for that. Hold on, right here. Hold on, Jay. Say what we did. Apologize for that on national television right don't. now. Well, let's be nice. Yeah. Let's be nice. We don't have to go there. I mean, you're not wrong, but you didn't have to say it. I mean, good Lord. I'm going to do you a favor, my brother. I'm going to leave it to you. Because if, I, if, 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 if it comes out of my mouth, if it comes out of my mouth, and I sit up there and I literally articulate it, the stuff that this man has done since he has been the executive of the New York Knicks, I'm going to lose my mind. I ain't going to be able to do the rest of the show. I'll tell you right now. It comes out of my mouth. I'm not going to be able to control myself because I'm barely able to right now. I'm going to try to keep my composure. A few moments later. His very first move as the executive was to sign Lamar Odom, who was on crack. <laughs> I don't mean to be, listen, I love Lamar Odom, the person, and God bless him, we're wishing nothing but the best, but metaphorically speaking, he saw his first move as the executive of the New York Knicks was to sign Lamar Odom, who was on crack. Did L.A. give up too much to get a guy who has been labeled soft, although he puts up 19 and 9, which only... 11 other guys do. Is that a trick question? You tell me. They gave up Kwame Brown. Two Who first cares? rounders. I could, I could care less. Tied into his salary for four First years. of all, understand something. When you're giving up first round picks, if you are a quality team in, play, in playoff contention, it really doesn't mean that much. That's number one. Number two, and more importantly, Kwame Brown is gone. The City of Angels, Hollywood, just should be celebrated. Throw a parade already, whether you win a championship or not. This man was a bona fide scrub. He can't play. No disrespect whatsoever, but I'm sorry to call tell everybody the truth. The man cannot play the game of basketball. He has small hands. He can't catch the ball. He's got bad feet. He can't really move, even though he's mobile. Doesn't really know what he's doing. Doesn't have a post move that he, he puts to memory that he can do two times in a row. He has no game whatsoever. Plays no defense. Doesn't have the heart, the passion, or anything that comes with it. And you're asking me whether this, okay. they gave up too much? Please. The Los Angeles Lakers knew exactly what they were doing. They should be celebrating right now, and Kobe Bryant should not be saying a word. His contract comes off the books, and as you <laughs> Thanks for the joke. <laughs> y'all, y'all smoking crack. Something is wrong with you people. What the hell has this world come to? I'm calling you out. I'm so sick of these people. You, you know. Oh. I hope y'all ready. I am. <laughs> get on I'm not gonna be like everybody else and talk about oh what you did or didn't do when you went college forget all of that right. what I'm asking you is a simple question we we talk about the goat here the greatest of all time Michael Jordan and you running your mouth talking about you're gonna beat him one-on-one -on -one. why would you say something so blasphemous, In my heyday, blasphemous. he would need help really he's too really? small his name is big and y'all like it was and a five on five five on five, five, five game he good one-on-one -on -one, I'm undefeated never lost Will you stop it? Don't Never apologize lost on TV. One. That don't make any sense. Just, listen, Can't nobody be really? in heyday one-on-one. So, why you saying something took like you that? the distance one-on-one. That's that thing. You look like you were tired. Hey, let me ask you this like I tell him. You know, that's why you smiling right did now. I you know you right. <laughs> did I win or lose? Did I win or lose? All I care about is the W. I don't you care how I get it. You were tired from dancing. Are you talking about you going to beat Michael Jordan? Michael Jordan. How you going to beat me? You know what? It's good. I got to hear how you going to beat me. Pick your poison. How is he going to beat me? Why are you saying stuff like this? Tell me how he going to beat me. Why are you doing this? Why are you? Is this another marketing tool of yours? Check this out. 
What? Everybody used to say who was the best. Michael Jordan or Who LeBron. did you think was the best? They who said, did you think was the best? best? Kobe or LeBron? Who did you think was the best? Guess what the story is now? Who did you Who's th- better? LeVar or Michael Ain't Jordan? I think about no damn LeVar. Yes, we're they are. Look at you. Who are you talking about? Nobody think about no LeVar. Me LeVar. And LeVar. LeVar. Are you good? Lonzo, yes. Not LeVar. <laughs> Lonzo don't want to see me. I'm too big, too strong. One on one? You know what? I'm going to move on. I'm going to move The blasphemy coming out of your mouth. I'm going to say I don't agree with the part about me being horny all hours of the day. A few hours in the day, yes, but not all hours of the day. I digress. We have been hoodwinked, bamboozled, led astray, run amok, and flat out deceived. This is exactly what I've been waiting for. This is exactly, I don't mean to sound like Cat Williams, but this is exactly what I've been waiting for. I am having a very bad day. I am in no mood. This, today, is one of the worst days that I've had in a long time. I'm not in the mood to play with anybody. My brother, Bomani Jones, is in another booth looking at me. I love that brother. I don't want to talk to you today. I've got producers who have been very, very good to me. I've got bosses who have been very, very good to me. I've got co-workers that I love. I don't want to talk to anybody. My godson, Jonathan Barnes, is sitting right in front of me, and I don't want to look at him. I'm ticked off. Just watch this. This was Stephen A. walking onto the set. <laughs> like a mob man. This man is spoken. <laughs> this man, this, this, he's yelling at Jay. He's yelling at me. Then he goes out. He's searching out Jalen. He wants to know where Jalen is. Stephen A. Smith is ready to. You, my boy, my boys, my boys. Patience, patience. How old are you? How old is it? 37. How do you? 46. Oh, damn it. Y'all wasn't, y'all wasn't even born. Y'all weren't even born the last time the New York Knicks won a title. You, say, you know, you people are getting on my nerves. You're getting on my nerves. I'm going to tell you that right now. You're getting on my damn nerves. Ladies and gentlemen, before I sit up there and introduce anything, before I get into these reads, Jonathan Winthrop, before I get Jonathan, stop laughing at me. Look, ladies and gentlemen, there is no truth whatsoever to these bogus rumors that I jumped on a basketball court in Philadelphia last night and stopped the fight between Eric Bledsoe and Joel Embiid. That was not me, okay? It was not me. I was on the other side of the arena. First of all, I'm a little lighter in weight. I must admit the head is about that size and so is the hairline. So I can understand. The plausible mistake. But we live in an age of technology where you can zoom in and zoom out. Zoom in, as my man Kevin Hart would say, and zoom out. You could see that that's not me. I'm not jumping into the middle of of, 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 of this, this pit bull that is Eric Bledsoe along with the seven foot one Joel and B. I'm not jumping in the middle of that. Listen, <laughs> this man was about to leave the building, but he saw me, decided he wanted to interrupt the sports center proceedings to make a you. point. Excuse I'm me, you had some explaining to do. Three points on one for six shooting for the man who happens to be your son. He's got a lot of promise, but yes. tonight was not a great night. You said it was going to be a great opening That's night. It. it was a great opening night. What? How? Big Explain. Big brand went up 12%. Oh. It's always good. Even when you lose, I win. You see what I'm saying? Big baller brand, we here to stay. I got tell you what, Lonzo did good. How? How? What 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 game were you watching? How did he do good tonight? Well, how did he do good tonight? Explain that, Mr. Coach. Rebounds. 
Really? Physical. Really? On a bad foot. Did you not say, oh, there's a bad foot now? That's where we going? I didn't, I, that's where we going? Listen, don't Listen, start. Don't you start. You ain't moving. What, 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 what is that? What is that? What is that? What is that? Stop it. Listen. Patrick Beverly. Patrick hey, Beverly hey. got all over your son. He got all over your son. What did Patrick Beverly have? What do you have? Why you going on? Don't matter what he had. Here's what it is. Lonzo's not a one on one guy. But we're a team winner. And this is what I told him. Every 20 games go 15 and 5. We good. We only got one loss. Guess what? We tied with Golden State right now. Didn't they lose the first opening? Don't give I me that. Up there with them. Don't give me that. One, one for them. six hey, shooting, three six. points. I'm not, I'm not trying you know to condemn him, but I'm just saying you he said you said it was going to be bigger. What's in the kitchen cabinet. He got to find out what's in there. You got to see what's going on. The times he was out, you seen him with no direction. When he get back in there, Neil, help me when I'm wrong now. <laughs> when he was in there, it's very positive. Let's break it down. One for six, it ain't about shooting. It's about rebounding, assists, catching the ball, running the lane. Somebody got to run down the middle of that floor. Don't make me bring my shoes out and run. I can get 20 points running down the middle. So let me get this straight. What you're saying uh, is yes. your son, yes. your son really didn't have a bad game. It's just that everybody he around him a had a struggle. And because of that, you, that's why he didn't look as good. Is that what you're saying? saying about everybody? That's I'm asking you. I'm asking a question. Oh, no, no, don't worry about it. I'm asking. I'm asking. I'm asking, hey. I'm asking a question. I'm asking a question. I'm asking a question. That's all I'm saying. They're going to learn to play with him, and then the winning going to go sky high. Trust me. It ain't nothing but a little teaser. I did the same thing to y'all in Vegas. Lose a couple of games, Lonzo's a bust. Then he come back and win MVP. It ain't that hard for my son. He don't lose a lot in a row. How do you do it? How do you <laughs> sit here and come up with a positive explanation a positive after explanation. a game like this? How do you do it? How? How do you think my boy's got to be so great? Oh, Lord. Bad games. It's only a bad commercial. 